I know. When I was um, still in school, uh, I, I, I got my, actually, my other degrees all in English literature. And you know how difficult it is to <laughs> build a career. And um, uh, uh, particularly when you are a married woman, you can't just, you know, accept any job. So uh, I, I decided I would try something else. I still love, you know, literature and, and you know, all of that. But um, in terms of profession, I decided, you know, with the family, my best choice would be, you know, someplace I could fulfill both. Actually, two people stand out in my my uh, whole career influencing. One actually it was my English professor, Carmen Rogers. The other one, Louis Schwartz, and he was a famous library science faculty and librarian. And those two are the most influential, I think, and have helped me most. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I learned a lot from them. I mean, scholastically for sure. And then, uh, and they are both such uh, prestigious personalities in this profession. It really big help, big boost for my career. And I covered uh, classification, subject headings, those are the main areas. And then the overall area, of course, is cataloging that co covers everything. Yeah, but particularly the t Library of Congress systems. And then and when I was writing them, I had a lot of opportunities to meet the people. I made trips to, to Washington, to Library Congress, and also in the early days I attended conferences, because sometimes more, sometimes I made special trips to the Library Congress. So all those were, you know, were just excellent experiences outside of the classroom. I mean, classroom is fun, but then it, it gets old. <laughs> Well, lucky, luck. <laughs> Happened to be doing what I enjoy, and I was able to handle, you know, the, the different kinds of challenges. And as I said, my, my students give me the greatest joy just to see them success. For, it's also almost like it's my own success, you know, that I have done well. <laughs> that really is the biggest reward. <laughs> oh, I, I haven't really given it, you know, a thought as to distinguish, you know, what would be told. I enjoy what I'm doing. I love teaching, and that's my thing. And I, I get the biggest satisfaction from teaching, you know. Particularly, you know, after a while, you see the results. Students go out, and some of them did real, real well. As a student in basic cataloging and I'm not sure of the exact year but it would have been the early 70s. I was working full-time and got my degree while taking classes and I got my degree in 1974 so I was taking classes mm, for at least two maybe even three years so early early 1970s I took basic cataloging from Lois Chan and then as soon as I could, I took her next course. So I took two, if she taught three, and I'm not sure courses back then in the, in the series, I would have taken them all. I was sold as soon as I took her first class. And I think the first class, or maybe the second one I took from her, she was pregnant with her first child. So I was doubly impressed that she was such obviously poised and knew everything and also was standing up there, you know, had to be somewhat uncomfortable. I was in her very first cataloging class that she taught at the University of Kentucky. She was a, a brand new teacher. I was a brand new graduate student. When I think of Lois Chan, the first thing that comes to mind is authority figure which can sound kind of stern, 
but it's really not that interpretation. I think of her as an authority figure in her field of cataloging and classification, but one that is warmly respected by her peers as well as everyone she taught. So that's the primary thing that comes to mind. I also think in personal terms of mentor and friend, but the first thing is who she is to the profession. The consummate professional of a wonderful teacher, of a wonderful human being for that matter, someone who has given this profession um, her entire life as far as I can tell. When I took cataloging from her, um, you know, the digital world hadn't even begun and automated cataloging and everything was just, you know, just barely being discussed. And she adjusted um, and brought along knowledge and learning and wrote articles about um, all of the, the technological revolution that, that was impacted cataloging and classification. So she didn't get stuck in one specialty, she moved with the times, which made her work extremely valuable. Beyond that though, as a scholar and the work she did, I would put on an equal footing her record as an educator because I would love to know how many uh, information professionals learned about the infrastructure of information from Lois Chan. It would have to be hundreds, maybe thousands, over the course of her career. So, uh, and I am certain that everyone that took her classes received the consistent package that Lois delivered, which was completely a thorough, well-presented, well-communicated, um, and authoritative. So think of the contribution to the profession that made teaching all those people strong basics of the infrastructure of information, which is what I say cataloging classification is. Oh, there are many. Uh, of course, in her area of expertise, cataloging, subject heading, subject classification, she has, uh, she has written the textbook. She has done the research. I think her books are probably used by by library schools, not only in the United States, but around the world. But I think, uh, when I think about what she has done for people like me who didn't become catalogers, um, she instilled in all of us the sense of importance of doing our work really well. She gave us a role model to follow. Um, I, I think it's almost impossible to calculate the effect she's had on all of the people she's touched because she's always, um, I, I, I have never seen her, uh, I, I've never seen her step back from that incredible professionalism that she displays. So it's in that way that I think she's touched so many students. Um, and of course, in the cataloging world, she is, she is the expert. She is the one who really knows that area inside out. Wow, that's a big one. <laughs> well, I guess to, to for young people to identify uh, what you like and what motivates you, and then try to devote all your energy or your wisdom to that. And because uh, when you like something, then it, 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 you enjoy doing it, then it, it ceases to be just pure work. <laughs> right? Yeah, it's really part of your recreation too.